No summer would be complete without a barbecue. And no barbecue would be complete without charcoal. But is charcoal just burnt wood? Or is there more to it? At this factory, all they need to make the fiery coals are cheap offcuts of timber. They're brought down to size by a giant cutter. The wood still contains moisture that needs to be completely removed before it's turned into charcoal. So it goes into a silo where it'll dry out at 100 degrees Celsius. But to make it bone dry, they have to heat it in a retort. It's a special apparatus which will extract every drop of moisture. After 25 tons of wood is piled in, the hatch is closed to make the retort airtight. When the wood next sees the light of day, it'll be the finished product. In the lab, a scientist demonstrates how it works. This airtight container represents the retort. The wood is heated inside, and because there's no oxygen, it can't catch fire. As it gets hotter, it sweats out the last drops of moisture, which are then taken away through these tubes. What's left is carbonized wood, or charcoal to you and me. The liquid which drains off the retort gets sold too. It'll be used to flavor smoky foods like salami. When they open the lid, they've got to cool the charcoal down, and fast. It's 500 degrees Celsius, and as it comes into contact with oxygen, it could burst into flames without warning. It plummets down into cool bunkers through this trapdoor. They have to spray water hoses to settle the cloud of acrid dust. Once it's locked in the bunker, the danger's over. After it's cooled down, they sort it by size. Large lumps will be sold as barbecue fuel around the country. The fine dust is mixed with wheat starch to help it bind. Then it's compressed into briquettes. At this stage, they're still soft. So they get baked off and turned into solid lumps. Finally, the large lumps are bagged up. This factory sends out 80,000 bags every day. They're delivered to petrol stations and other outlets. And come the summer months, they'll be blackening sausages in a back garden near you.